The second reducing agent that we have to study is lithium aluminium hydride. Uh, lithium aluminium hydride is prepared. by slowly adding anhydrous aluminium chloride to a very thin paste of lithium hydride. So uh, to a paste of lithium hydride, aluminium chloride is gradually added and this is taken in the solvent ether uh, to form lithium aluminium hydride plus lithium chloride. Lithium chloride precipitates out. And it is uh, removed by filtration and the filtrate filtrate will have our solvent and our lithium aluminium hydride uh, so the solvent removal is carried out in the absence of air and carbon dioxide to get the lithium aluminium hydride which is our reducing reagent okay so this lithium aluminium hydride will be present in the filtrate filtrate will have this plus solvent the solvent is evaporated this filtrate is evaporated in absence of air and co2 to obtain solid lithium aluminium hydride reagent. Aluminium chloride was added gradually. And this was the thin paste of lithium aluminium hydride. So preparation is gradual addition of lithium chloride in in thin paste of lithium hydride in ether to obtain a precipitation of lithium chloride and a filtrate uh, having lithium aluminium hydride which is separated by evaporating the filtrate in the absence of air and CO2 to obtain the solid reagent okay if we talk about the properties so it's a, a gray white solid lithium aluminium hydride is gray white solid it can be very easily hydrolyzed by water and on hyd on hydrolysis it uh, produces hydrogen gas it's inflammable spontaneously inflammable powder this uh, hydrolysis by water is a violent reaction it's a very aggressive reaction and even it gets burnt spontaneously when exposed to air so the uh, storage and its use in the lab require various precautions we talk about uses again it's a reducing agent so it is used in the reduction of aldehyde ketone aldehyde and ketones were uh, also reduced by NaBH4 but along with aldehyde and ketone lithium aluminium hydride can uh, reduce esters amides nitriles azide etc 
so um, like we have discussed in the case of sodium uh, borohydride that lithium aluminium hydride is a stronger reducing agent as compared to your sodium borohydride sodium borohydride could only reduce aldehyde and ketone and acid chloride but lithium aluminium hydride can also reduce ester amide nitrile azides etc <coughs> there is no effect on the double bonds or triple bonds alkene and alkyne functional groups are not sensitive to lithium aluminium hydride and uh, one mole of lithium aluminium hydride provides four equivalent of hydrogen so if we are reducing a carbonyl group and it get reduced to uh, alcoholic functional group then four one mole of lithium aluminium hydride could reduce four moles of the car carbonyl functional group while on the other hand if we have uh, ester group then one mole can reduce two moles of ester uh, if we discuss the reactions the very first is reduction of carbonyl compound carbonyl compounds means aldehyde or ketone reduction of aldehyde or ketone uh, aldehyde and ketones are converted to alcohols aldehyde will give us primary alcohol while ketones will give us secondary alcohol aldehydes are not uh, okay uh, aldehydes and ketones are not directly reduced to alcohols but first aluminum alkoxide is formed which when treated with aqueous uh, acid gives us the alcohol so uh, reaction goes this way let's say we have a ketone this ketone on reaction with lithium aluminium hydride gives us the aluminium al alkoxide aluminium lithium positive so if we balance it so this is aluminium alkoxide which is first formed this is treated with uh, aqueous acid solution to get uh, alcohol CH2OH so this will be the alcohol obtained plus lithium hydroxide plus aluminium hydroxide aluminium hydroxide will precipitate and you will get Four moles of alcohol. So this is a secondary alcohol since we were taking ketone. Ketone give us secondary alcohol. Also, there were four equivalents of ketone while only one equivalence of lithium aluminium hydride. So the statement that I just said before these reactions that one mole of lithium aluminium hydride could uh, reduce four moles of carbonyl compound okay now looking at some of the reactions this is hexanal uh, when treated with lithium aluminium hydride the aldehyde group will be converted into alcohol 
so in case of aldehyde what we are getting is primary alcohol in second reaction we have a ketonic group when treated with lithium aluminum hydride this secondary alcohol will be obtained this is but butane to all third reaction is proton aldehyde proton aldehyde have a conjugated double bond present with aldehyde group but since we have discussed earlier the aldehyde um, ketonic aldehyde ester group amides these will be reduced by lithium aluminum hydride but there will be no effect on the double bond uh, present so the product in this case will be ch3 ch double bond ch ch2oh so this is crotyl alcohol next is cinnamic aldehyde cinnamic aldehyde also we have similar kind of uh, conjugated double bond present along with aldehyde but there is further conjugation to the benzene ring and there is a slightly different reaction shown by cinnamic aldehyde with lithium aluminum hydride in case of cinnamic aldehyde we are getting a different reaction so in this case the double bond also get reduced and the product obtained is benzyl ethyl alcohol no it's benzyl propyl alcohol so this is the product obtained next is uh, acids and acid derivatives acids and acid derivatives except amides are reduced to alcohol by lithium aluminum hydride so all of these acids and acid derivatives give alcohol reduced to alcohols so majorly um, carbonyl compound acids and all the acid derivatives except amides gives us alcohol as a product if you look at the reaction this is an acid group it is getting converted into alcohol that means ch2oh uh, as if we talk about acid chloride again acid chloride will give us ch3 ch2oh ester on treatment with lithium aluminum hydride gives us two products ch3 ch2oh plus ch3oh two products two alcohols are obtained in this case now third is amides the one that we have left here as exception amides are converted to or reduced to amines 
so if you have RCONH2 on treatment with lithium aluminium hydride RCH2NH2 is obtained or if you have substituted amide even then similar kind of reaction will be shown and the product will be RCH2 NHCH3 so uh, this way amides are converted into amines now nitro groups nitro groups uh, if aliphatic nitro group groups are present then those are converted into amines but if aromatic nitro groups are present then azo products are obtained let's see an example uh, let's say r1 no2 on reduction with lithium aluminium hydride in the presence of thf gives us R1 NH2 while if you have nitrobenzene first on treating with lithium aluminium hydride in ether and secondly treating with aqueous acid azobenzene is obtained as a product if we talk about azides azides are also reduced by lithium aluminium hydride to give amines so uh, one was amide which was forming as uh, amines and another is azide so R NH3 on reaction with lithium aluminium hydride gives us R NH2 if you look at uh, there are various reactions which are uh, carried out by using lithium aluminium hydride if we talk about sulfonyl chloride Sulfonyl chloride gives us thiol. So the structure is something like this sulfonyl chloride. Sulfonyl chloride forms thiol. Similarly, sulfoxide R2SO sulfoxide this on treatment with lithium aluminium hydride gives us thioether or you can write R2S this is thioether sulfones sulfones also give thioether as product Halides, these are sulfones, sulfone also from thioether. If we talk about halides, halides get reduced to hydrocarbon. Sulfonyl chloride, sulfones, sulfoxides, halides. 
हेलाइट्स फ्रॉम हाइड्रोकार्बन लेट्स टेक अ जर्नल हाइड्रोकार हेलाइट एल्काइल क्लोराइड इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ लिथियम एल्यूमिनियम हाइड्राइड गिव्स अस हाइड्रोकार्बन लिथियम क्लोराइड प्लस एल्यूमिनियम So these are some uh, reactions which are carried out by using lithium aluminium hydride as a reducing agent.